hello and welcome to my channel today i am going to start a series for cloud jira admin and this is a request series because i am getting lot of emails about it this series will gonna be very amazing and interesting in this series i will be diving into the real world of the jira administrations and you will learn the important topics such as uh user management workflow permissions and much more so by the end of this course you will be more confident and knowledgeable in the jira administrations skills so without any further ado let's get started today i will cover the first topic of the jira administrations which is user management this is my jira cloud instance and right now i am on a workspace this page is my favorite one because with the help of this page i can navigate to my recent projects and on my issues my worked on issues viewed assigned to me issues now i will go to the user management part and for that i will click on this cog or a jira setting icon so i will click here and here you can see we have the three sections at last in side means and under this sections we have the user management and billing and underneath the jira settings we have system products projects issues and apps and underneath the personal settings we have the at last in account settings and personal jira settings today in this video i will cover the user management if you are a jira admin and you know this is this is the place where you have to visit on a daily basis you have to manage the users on a daily basis so if whether you are new to jira or you are a experienced person as a jira administrator then this particular series will definitely be helpful for you so let's click in the user management sections and here in the url you can see we have admin.atlassian.com you can see this is a completely different url from this one so this url where you can manage your atlassian settings as an admin here is the page and you can see in the upper menus or upper navigations under the directory tab we have users groups and the manage accounts in the left sidebar so here in this page you can invite the users with the help of invite users button where you can enter the email address of your users with the help of the uh, separated commas you can enter the multiple emails and here you can manage the product roles let's suppose if i want to enter the two email here monica at the red gmail dot com then i need to put a comma in between two email ids and okay now i will enter let's suppose john at the red gmail dot com these are not the real uh, emails accounts these are just Uh, for the demo now i'm going to enter and here you can see there are the two email ids here in the email addresses input box and in this product table we can manage the product roles as per the product so G, uh, you can see jira software and here in the drop down you can choose the users right now i am have a one role which is a user and if i will come in the confluence i have the three users guest and the product admin you can change the product roles later whenever you want in the future now we will come into the group membership and here you can choose the group in which group you want to keep that particular users and now if you want to personalize your invitations email then you can write your personalizations uh, content here in this text box and there are the 500 characters limits here after that you can click in the invite users and that particular email will be sent to the invited users now we will see and come again on the same page and here we can see we have the total users active users and the administrator here and this is the list of the users their statuses like active or they are not active and these are the actions if i'll click on the show details it will open this page 
where I can see the image of the users, their full name, email address. I can manage the product access here and I can add the groups. I would recommend if you are new to Jira, then please go to the Atlassian's official website, create a free account and play around. Play uh, with the user management sections and do some hands-on practices so that you can learn better because by theoretical knowledge or by watching videos you can't learn better right so just go and create a free account and just play around with the users groups and that the, the whole thing that i have explained in this video now uh, we will go and see the groups here oh before going to the group sections i will come again here in this page and i'm gonna tell you if you want to export if you want to export the list of the users then from here you can do it you can click and export users you will be get the list of the users in the csv format and here you can do the settings as per your needs like you want all users in the organizations only active users or all users uh, you can uh, choose the statuses accordingly and then the additional data you want some group memberships or a product access and roles so you can do as per your requirement now you can click on the cancel here you can use the filters you can enter your name or email address and you can find that particular user if you are working in the large organization then definitely you will need this filter again and again now we will come into the group part here so and group is a very interesting feature and it is also very useful for the uh, jira admins you can create your own groups and uh, you can use the existing one as well some groups are maybe you cannot understand only the jira admins can understand because some are the default one and if i'll talk about the site admin groups this is very important to understand the site admins group because if someone is in group in the site admin groups it means they have all the access they can do perform all the tasks as in jira administration so be careful when you will add someone into the site admin groups you can read here like grant access to all the applications and their administrations features and org administration which includes managing users and bills it means if someone in the site admins group they can manage your users and bills as well i have created the multiple groups here as uh, per my need but if you are working in any organizations then definitely you will create as per your organization uh, requirement you can create a group with the help of this create button you can enter the group name you can add the members by typing the name of the members and you can write the descriptions of a group and then hit the create button okay this is all about the group i have already created the video how you can use the group and how you can create the groups I will mention the links into the description box. You can check, go and watch that video. Definitely it will help you. Now we will come into the manage account sections. And here I have no manage user as of now. See, this is my test account and this is my standard account actually. And I am using it just for making the videos. So there is no need to verify any domain but if you are working in any organization then definitely you have to verify the domain of your organization let's suppose you are working in any xyz organization then you have to perform the verifications process for the xyz.com if you really want uh, want to cover me these manage account sections then please uh, comment below the video so that i can make the another video how you can manage and how accounts and how you can verify your domains i'll tell you about the step by steps how you will do it because it is very useful if you are working in any organization as a jira admin because it is very necessary and helpful from the organization perspective so let me know so that i can make the another video if you really want to know how you can verify your domain and this is all about the user management from the jira administration perspective but now i will go to the project or i can take it this jira admin training project here and i will go to the project setting 
under the project setting I'll click on the people and here you can see I have the names emails and roles and I can add the people here I can type the name email or group and choose the role from this drop down so what is it so this is uh, the way how you will add the people in your project and as a Jira admin, I would suggest if you can give this kind of permissions to the scrum master, project manager or a project lead so that they can add the people of their team members according to their team because they know better about the roles of the team members and the people who are working with them. So you can give so that they can add the people accordingly so that's all for uh, today's video and i hope you can understand uh, how you can add the users how you can export how you can see the details and how you can add the groups let's meet into the next video and in the next video i will cover the next thing which is system where you will learn about the journal configurations global permissions look and feel and more and this is also an interesting part where i will explore into the next video I will not cover the billing part in this series. If you really want, I should then please let me know into the comment box so that I can cover the billing things in this series. So that's all for today's video. Let's meet into the another video. Bye bye.